on my show. I read his book. I told them, and I still believe it's actually one of the best business books uh, I have read about angel investing. I also first found out of him, I'm him on, on a um, podcast, I believe it was called Think Smart. And I listened to him and I was thoroughly impressed about his knowledge about risk and how he takes a look at an angel investing. And uh, I, in essence, reached out to him and told him that it was the best podcast I've heard. And I still stand to this point. And he, he said to me, touch base with me in the new year. And what happened is um, stuff on Clubhouse start happening. I sent him two emails, one to his personal, one to his business email. I also sent him a Twitter message, say, hey, I shall read everybody exactly what I sent him. Hey, Jason, this is JT Fox. I think there's a miscommunication here. I'd like to clear up with you. As you probably remember, you have to, we have talked before. I loved your book. I've promoted you to my clients, and I did. Um, I've uh, paid to attend your university. I'm signed up to receive things about your syndicate. To say the least, I respect you, and I'm really surprised at what I'm seeing about me. I would really like to call you and see where this is coming from so we can solve this respectfully, JT. I got no response, um, but I got a lot of tweets. Um, bullying, shaming, making fun of me, bringing up lawsuits that I have won, by the way, for the record, in 2007, and just attacking me just nonstop. I have audio that people have sent me around these rooms and you know he's been on multiple podcasts and uh you know the the uh, the behavior that has been here is just really like wrong we talk about bullying and we talk about attacking people he says i got kicked off maybe maybe not because of racism that was not true and so i just would have gone on the phone with him and did, resolved did this women complain that you were uh, rude, and did you get a two-week suspension? Because I, I listened to you on another no. podcast say that no. you listened to a bunch of people of color, and you took to heart what they said, and that you were going to do better. No, uh, what happened is, uh, as you know, as you experience, uh, when people mass report you, um, there's a certain number uh, that take you off the app temporarily. Uh, I was gone for four days. So nobody, com nobody complained of the way you were speaking to people and speaking to women? They, they, but no, they said, and I did a room for five hours um, saying, if anybody has any issues with me, please come up. And it was all about my style of coaching, very similar to some of the people you had on your stage uh, a few days ago about my style of coaching, my directness, my toughness and how I do this. But I've never mistreated women. I've never been rude to women. What's your real I've never name? said... My name, my real name is J.T. Fox, and that is my legal name. It's on my driver's license. It's on my passport. What was the name? What was your name? Well, Does it really matter? Does, does it really matter? Okay. Does it really matter? In 2002, two years before I came to America, I changed my name. Tony Robbins changed his name as well. Tom Cruise changed my name as well. I did that because my parents growing up mistreated me. So when you said maybe someone should call my mother, as you said the other day, my mother's in the hospital with stage four cancer right now. And my father's dying of stage four cancer as well. So I have two parents that are dying. So when you said to people that they sorry, should call Sorry to hear that. Both of my parents are cancer survivors as well. But so why did you change your name? I changed my name two years before because my parents were alcoholics. I had nothing in common. They did. They took my money and I couldn't go to law school. It was two years before I moved to the United States of America. That's why I changed my name because I didn't want to carry a last name that caused me a lot of pain growing up. Not because those other names were mentioned in a bunch of lessons. Uh, I changed my name when I was 21 years old, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure why that would make that. What do you so, charge for coaching? Uh, six figures. Um, six figures. Anybody ever ask for a refund? Of course. Some people have asked for refunds. Got it. Of course. Now, here's the problem, Jason. You're taking information from a woman who has been a stalker of mine, who, by the way, got arrested on Saturday. Um, by seven police officers in Sweden and has done 9,000 posts, terrorized my family, terrorized my clients, right? And so you're retweeting information from sources that are inaccurate and getting information from someone that is absolutely um, disgruntled and you're taking it as facts. Did you check the lawsuit that you tweeted? Did you check that I'd won that lawsuit? Uh, we, had, um, we had about four women in a room the other night um, who showed on their websites, et cetera, that they had been to your conferences and all 
three or four of them who had been said they felt bullied by you. That was enough for me. I believe. Well, you, you I'm bull- sure, but Jason, I- this is Brad Hager. You bull- bullied my wife to the point of tears. And when she left your room, she was crying. And then, yeah. then you guys mocked her when she left the room. And by the way, someone was kind enough to send us a recording. So it's undeniable. And I, my- Yeah, we, we did laugh at it because <laughs> you sell MLMs for CBD, correct, Brad? I do have a network marketing company. Yes, we sell CBD. And that's so you, perfectly, you run an MLM perfectly legal. There's nothing wrong CBD, or illegal then. about CBD. Right. Anybody ever complain illegal. about your programs? I don't know if they have or not. If you have, have you ever Googled you, your you, name you, you, slash reviews? Yeah, I have. So you, and you were reading. You're proud of those reviews? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, Jason, Jason, you rapid fire question. I'm just as part of mine as I am with yours. As you guys, I'm sure you are of yours. You Googled yourself. Have you Googled yeah, your own I've complaints? invested in 300 companies. Uh, yeah. Some yeah. of the greatest companies in the go get, history Go of get technology. the garbage then. Yeah. We, we can all brag on what we've done well. So, okay. You, you're so not we, we, your, your tell me about your, tell me about your most successful MLM company. Tell me the name of it. What's the name of your company? I want about? to know why you're harassing. Nobody's harassing you. You guys yes, claim yes, to be are. legit. Got, I'm, I'm just trying to. Tape. I've got it on. Chris, tell me about you're your most successful MLM. You What's the name of your MLM people. company, Brad? What's the name of your I'm MLM a, company? You're a bully. You harass people. You step okay, back. So, David, you see, he and won't you even answer me. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait a second. Wait, Brad, Brad, Brad. So, wait, wait, I'll wait, explain wait, wait, to wait, wait, the wait, audience wait, wait, how this works. Just one second. These individuals prey upon people. Wait, Jason, 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 Jason. Jason, can you wait one sec? Can we just have this? So, since it's there's like two, right? There's JT Fox and Brad. So, we have that. Either you ask a question and Brad, if you don't want to answer it, or JT Fox, you don't answer it, just say, I don't want to answer it, but don't go back and then ask Jason yeah, my, my the most, question or don't most, accuse him because then it, the, the conversation just goes yeah. in circles. So Misdirection. If Brad asks you, if Jason no, asks you a question, I, I, what's the name of a company? And you say, why did you harass this person? And cyber, then he goes, why are you doing that? So, yeah, yeah, I can get the answer to my question first, David. Why are you harassing my wife? So, okay, yeah, so Jason, you want to answer your wife came in no, and told us because, you weren't in the MLM space. We said you were. She started crying. We didn't try to make her cry. She came on stage, said we were lying that you were in MLM. The, ta- the tape, the tape shows different. So, oh, okay. Well, why don't you answer my question? What is the name of your company? The most successful MLM I was in. What's the question you asked? What, what do you want to know? Which one? Tell us one the question. name of. Yeah, tell us the name of your current CBD had. company, and then tell us your most See, successful. Tell two names of two companies. It's just two two domain names. Sealy is the name of my company right now, and Spell most it, successful please. name. C I L I, the most successful company. C I L I was called Cyberwise. What's the what's the uh, domain name? Go look it up, Jason. See, this is the, what you'll see. Everybody in the audience, they won't answer very basic questions, and they'll misdirect and then attack the person. No, this, this and is And one of the other techniques is about. they will claim victim. My company. So this these are the techniques that they use to many, many misdirect. Many people that's in this audience. Wait, just one at a time. Wait, wait, wait. So, Brad, do you want? Wait, Jay, um, Jay, Brad, do you not want to answer the question? You could say it's cool. You don't want to answer the question. So it seems like Jason's just going to no, frustrate. I'm not going to answer the question. He, okay, that's fair. Okay, Brad, knows, Jason, he doesn't want to answer that answer. question. He's already got the. He's already got the answer. Okay, so Jason, so you already you, you already have the answer, Jason. My, hey, wait, Brad. You look at my profile. You can see it. Okay, okay. wait, hold on, Brad. Let's just give me one real, second, Jason. Business. Do you wait? Hold on, Brad, please. Jason, do you do you already have the answer to the questions that you're asking, or no? No, in some cases I do, and some I don't. So okay. I'm just confirming because he says that the gentlemen are saying I don't understand. So I'm just clarifying. I would say these are clarifying questions because question I've never spoken to Brad. Me? Of course you do. Yes, you did speak to me one night for about two minutes. Yeah, and then you guys banned me, so I couldn't. <laughs> so um, t- tell us, have you ever had, Brad, anybody sue you over your multi-level marketing companies? I've never had a lawsuit, been in a lawsuit on any end, either one. Have you been sued? Me? Um, an actual loss. I've had letters, but not an actual lawsuit. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten legal letters before, but not like an actual lawsuit. You know, I want to ask a question, Jason. Are you a legal? Gotcha. Are you a legal university? A legal university. Are you no. an accredited university? So why do you no. call yourself Angel Investing University if you're not an accredited university? Isn't that misrepresenting? Well, uh, I can tell you about the course. I don't want to know course. about the course. I, I asked a very simple question. Are you an accredited university? Why would that be mis- No. Because the you're not a- is a top level domain name that's available. Anybody can buy anything.university. 
it's obviously not a, it's a, it says very clearly, it's a three hour course. It's a hundred dollars to $300 to take, uh, depending when we've done it in person or out of person. And we give all the proceeds to charity. We donated over $50,000 last year. Um, and then we do founder.university, which we do six times a year. It's free for founders. We have sponsors, you know, the world's greatest companies uh, will sponsor those events and uh, we don't charge for them. Well, here's the problem is that I attended your university. Great. And by the way, I think calling yourself a university is misleading, first and foremost. Um, okay. So you want to talk about you me? Felt being misled. Misled. You felt misled for the $100 you donated to charity to come to my event? Well, you, you I, I charge my pro- it was a university. You could no, just, just one at a time. Jason, just let me. Yeah, hold on. Did but, you, but, but you, hold on. Let Jason you finish and then Stanford? Jason respond. <laughs> so it, it's and a double standard. Right, it's a double standard. It's, it's a double standard here, right? So we're accused of misrepresenting when he calls himself a university, he's not. And here's the thing too. Yeah, he gives it to charity, but you know what they do? They upsell us to get into his syndicate so that we can invest yeah. and put 2,500 and 1,500. He does the same thing that coaches does, except he sells into his investment fund. No. Absolutely. That's that is, I, I, no, no, we have, we have what's called LPs, limited partners. They are LPs, uh, like, you know, major organizations or accredited investors, accredited investors for people who make over $200,000 a year. So they have a level of sophistication. Um, they can read deal memos of the investments I make, and then they can invest alongside me for free, JT. Then when they invest alongside of me, if there's a gain, like a venture capital fund, I get a percentage of the carry. What carry is, is um, I get 20% of the gains. If there's no gains, I get nothing. The first deal we ever shared was a company called Calm.com. It was a meditation app, JT. I put in $50,000. The syndicate put in $328,000. At the time, the company was a $5 million company, JT. The company is now valued at $2.X billion. We've been able to sell a portion of our um, shares you know, at multiple times during that, locking in a 50X return for our investors. This is actually like a real business, JT. Um, not like a nine well, figure business I, I that I don't know the name of. This is actually a real business called Com.com. So and according, we still according have our to, shares in that company. Reddit. We were the, no, we were the third investor JP, in let him called Uber. The company Uber, we invested in when it was $4 million. That $50,000, that $25,000 position became worth $120 million. Then we did a company called Robinhood. We put $50,000 into that company. That position became worth $20 million. And then we invite people, if they would like to, they can read the deal memo and they can put in as little as $2,000 or more. And this is democratizing investing. I don't take that money from them. There's no coaching fee. Everything I do is for free. We've done 1,200 episodes of This Week in Startups. And what I object to is I think that you prey on people who can't afford and who want to be involved in entrepreneurship. And charging people hundreds of thousands of dollars for coaching, berating them, I believe is not in people's best interest. And so I object to what you do. I object to who you are. Um, I object to MLM. I think multi-level marketing is a scam. I, I don't think it should be legal. Um, and I know it's kind of borderline. So I think what the, if you were going to coach, here's what I would say you should do, JT. If, if you want to not be perceived and not have to buy JT reviews or JT scam. And, and you don't want to have to deal with people thinking both of you are scam artists. If you don't want people to think that you guys are fugazi, JT, you could just charge $500 an hour to be somebody's coach. And you could let them pay each time they come. But what you do, correct me if I'm wrong, is you sell a system, right? So people come to a free conference and then you sell them in the back of the room a $600 system. And then you upsell them on some, as you said, six-figure coaching, correct? That's your business. And I, no, I think that business no, is I, not cool. That, but that is, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Yeah, explain a, to us. The, not... That was how the business was explained to me by people well, who okay. went. Wait, so wait, wait, but Jason, but you, you explained... didn't even finish. We, can we just, before we jump into that, JT, did you finish with your question about the university or do you want to jump in? No, I was Jason? not. That, and, and, okay. and Yeah, no. And I appreciate him answering, but he deflected a little bit. Uh, I just want to ask you, according to Reddit, because you like to go to these websites and quote things, um, that there are people who have been in your syndicate for the last four years and have not made any money. And the whole thread is for people to see on Reddit. People have invested 100000 k. So are you scamming people because it's on Reddit? Because they're saying you're a scam. That's what it says on Reddit. You can take a look at it. I can send you a link if you wish. Yeah, you, you can just DM to me right now. I'll read it out loud. I mean, here's how investing works in private companies. Uh, it takes about 10 years for you to get an outcome. So as an example, when I invested in Uber, 
And I took them about 10, 11 years to go public. Um, and six or seven years I invested in Robin who calm was six or seven years ago. You generally have an exit somewhere in year seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then as I outlined in my book, which you're a fan of, thank you for that. Um, you would expect fully seven or eight out of 10 deals in the early stage to go to zero. And then you would be looking for, and you came to my course, you said, so you know um, that we produce, um, you know, we're very serious about this. And you can read the deck at angel.university slash deck. And you can go to launch.co slash model. We produce a model and we have a deck there that we make available to everybody. And we explain, you should not do this kind of investing uh, unless you're sophisticated, accredited. You should only do it with, I would say, if I was advising my mother or my brothers, you know, one to 5% of their net worth that they can afford to lose, very small amount. Um, and they would want to place the smallest bets possible, $2,000 per deal, which is what I recommend to people, which is why our syndicate allows people to do $2,000 per deal, and maybe get to 20 or 30 investments in the hopes of having an outlier. And so that's how early stage investing works. And there's a lot of confusion about investing in startups because they're very different than say publicly traded equities like a Netflix or a Disney, which you wouldn't expect to go to zero, would you? You would, you would expect those companies to be here tomorrow or next year or in t even in 10 years. But with startups, you should, if you're investing in the early stage, you shouldn't expect them to exist in two or three years. And you will lose money on seven or eight out of 10. These are the highest, most speculative ones, which is why I wrote the book. And if you did read the book or you did come to the seminar, um, you would understand this because I, I say it over and over again, you really shouldn't do this unless you really love startups and you have a long-term view. But thank you for your question. So um, there's a uh, Google uh, reviews about you as well. And on Glassdoor, you have a 3.6 rating. Are you a bad boss? Because 3.6 ratings would not be very good on Glassdoor. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would say the tenure of the people who work for me speaks for itself. The number of uh, people who I've invested in will speak for itself. I mean, I'm sure there are people who work for me who I was too intense for, and I'm sure there are people who find me super inspiring. So I, most people who are, um, I think, driven would probably get a lot of one and five star reviews. So that's probably how people would view working for me, candidly. Okay, so, like so you, would, you agree that, that, would you agree that not all reviews about you are accurate? And that things that are written about you yeah, are not no, accurate. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay. It's, so I'm, no, I'm I mean, they might be accurate. I'm, I'm, I'm to, they would probably be accurate work. to that person. I, they would probably be I'm, accurate I'm, to I'm, that person. Okay. So, so by the way, on a side note, did you not uh, threaten to uh, Inc. Magazine wrote about you, and did you not threaten to basically sue them if they didn't take the article down a few days ago? No, I didn't. I never threatened to you sue. You did not. No, I did so, email. Somebody wrote something and took it down. I emailed the editor and I said what is the story about? Nobody asked me for a comment. And it turns out it was by, you know how they have free contributors, JT, to these services? I'm aware of that. Yeah. So th these are one of these free. So I think one of the people who's in your room, Mario Nafal, who has a course but doesn't charge for it. Um, I had said, hey, look at all these people selling these courses. And I think this is a scam. And I think this is a really bad idea to be involved with people like Brad or JT. If you just Google their names, you'll find some really gnarly stuff. Um, I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't be in business with them. And he said, well, what about me? And I said, well, I, I never reported you, never said anything about you. But somebody who is a marketing person, I guess, who uses those platforms, um, wrote a story. They took it down themselves because the, it turned out when I emailed the editor, he said, oh, J Jason Calacanis, I'm a fan. And I said, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, what's the story with this contributor? Are they a, a writer? Are you one of your writers? And he said, oh, no, that's one of those free contributors. I said, oh, do you edit those stories? And said, no, but we took it down because it felt unfair. So that's what happened. I, didn't, I don't really threaten to sue people, JT. You don't need to. So uh, I'm, I'm, you say that I scam people, but you had five people on well, stage. Well, I think what you do is kind of scam me. I, I do will say Hold on, but you don't know based on what Jake, the women said to me, Jason, dude, let him based on the first hand, what, hold on, based on the first hand knowledge that women reported to us in the room, that. I would say, yes, it feels like you're abusive to people and that you try to sell them on a free course, then a $600 course, then a 60000 and then a 250000 So I think that people generally yeah. don't like that kind I, I, of I'm, stuff. But here's the thing. None of your people on your stage had bought anything. It was all opinion on my personality. They never bought anything from me. And then you took you yeah. took. A, are you an abusive person? I'm not an abusive person. In fact, I think I've been giving a tremendous. What do people believe you are? Well, I have 122,000 followers. I must be doing something right. I'm giving value. Okay. I coach people. I've been coaching people for free. Okay. And you know what? 
there are people in this room who could attest. But didn't you say you charge 250K to coach? Well, yeah, but not everybody, not everybody. Oh. Yeah, people who pay that amount are number one, high net worth individuals. Huh. That's number one. And number two, uh, I offer all of my courses for $50, 7,000 hours. And I don't promote it on here as well. Now, I agree with you. There are people that should not be coaches that are coaching people. But I had made $10 million in real estate before I even started coaching. So I had already. Wait, I thought you were a nine figure. I thought you were nine. Uh, I, 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 was nine 20, I was at 28. I was 20. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not 28 anymore. What's, your nine, what's the name of your nine figure business? I, I'm, I will not be sharing any of my business with you or anybody. That's I and I made. So I think I made, this, by the way, I just I would just warn people. Wait, wait, wait Jason and JT. And by the way, both yeah, well, they won't hold tell on, you the name of their business one second, that they made nine second, figures Jason, off of. Jason. It's a bit of a tell. Wait, Jason, well, just real quick. Just and JT, just give me a second. Just what you guys are doing. Just, just so when you're finished, just say you're done, and then let the other person respond because it, it seems like there's yeah. points that Jason's trying to get across that he's not able to finish, and, and vice versa. And Brad is kind of. Uh, I, guess, I, I wasn't entirely. I was entirely finished. I was entirely finished. Okay, so just point. just tell her to say, "Hey, and I'm done. Point. Finish, and then pass it to them." Perfect. I think part of the issue is that he thinks because he believes is a scam, every single person is a scam. He's mentioned people like Grant Cardone. He's mentioned people like Ty, Tony Robbins. So in his opinion, the industry is a scam. And we all know that coaches, athletes have coaches, executives have coaches. In fact, when a corporation hires people like Accenture or Boston Consulting or Deloitte, they call themselves consulting. But in fact, they do the very same thing. I on this app have turned down money from people who offered me. In fact, there's a story of a woman who offered me $40,000 for her to coach her 15 minutes uh, a month for a period of six months. And in front of everybody, I turned down and I said, let me coach you for free. And I did that. And then I got on the phone and other people sold their coaching, which she bought. And I told her, absolutely go and get your money back because I didn't think she deserved. I do not sell coaching to people that cannot afford it. In fact, I turn it down. In fact, every single day. In fact, today I did four free coaching and I've been giving back on this app, not live, but on an individual basis, giving back. I like to make deals. I like to make businesses. I like to buy real estate. And you saw my article uh, in Fast Company. So you know some of the things. So to me, if you had just called me and we have discussions, so you may not think that coaching is a scam. That is your opinion. That doesn't make it a fact. And it doesn't matter that you pick a lawsuit that you tweeted and you keep mentioned twice already that happened in 2007 that I'm a bad guy, that I scammed this old lady, but you forgot that I won in court. Not only did I won, but I won legal fees. And it doesn't mean that someone files a lawsuit that it makes it correct. It doesn't make it right. People get sued all the time as well. And so you bring up stuff from the past you bring up things, reviews that are not even true. Do you know how many times we've gone on after people who put fake reviews? And I'm sure many of the reviews that people are about you, right, is because they don't like you. There's a lot of people that don't like you, but I don't care because I form my opinion after meeting people, not what other people say. And what you have been doing, right, is harassing, bullying, tweeting. It's like you're obsessed with me. You tweet all the time. You made fun of my suit and you think it's a joke and you talk down to people like you're the mighty king. And you know what? You accuse me of berating women with what you've been is I've never tweeted anything negative about anybody else. I've never made anybody cry and abuse them in front of an audience and then made fun of it. I have the audio recordings of everything you said. And by the way, it's slander. It's defamatory, it's abuse, it's harassment, it's tortious interference. You are trying to mess with my business and your painting brush. You watch my no, rooms. I'm you're not trying so... to mess with your business. Well, but but, but what I want, but, I but do if think I, people I should prove, research. Wait, hold on, JT. Let's let, let, let just yeah, not, uh, JT. Let's just Jason. Can I? Just can let I just Jason prove, respond. Can, what, here's JT's the next, monologuing. I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, JT. You, you're going on. Let, just let Jason respond and then respond to that. Go ahead. And if Brad, if you don't go want to speak, go. just drop down to the audience. No, so, I'm, I'm Jason. I'm waiting my turn. Well, okay. well maybe Brad should go. Brad wanted to go. I'm sorry. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. That's not. That's unfair. That's unfair. I don't think that JT you should go and then Brad and then two against one. Just let Jason respond to what was just said and then if Brad wants to go and address something to Jason, then let Jason respond. But I don't think it's fair that there's two people up here going back to back against Jason and Jason's here by himself. So just let him so respond. So what I would you. encourage the audience to do is to search for these individuals' names and the word reviews, the word scam, 
and just do your own research on individuals. That's that's my main point. And you do look a bit ridiculous, JT, at times with all the celebrities and the you know hysterics on stage. You do that. That's not me. I'm not getting on stage forcing you to do that. And the suits are, they don't fit well. I, that is a joke. I'm joking about it. Um, obviously, I'm goofing on you just a little bit. But the truth is, I think that the coaching industry preys on people. I think it preys on vulnerable people uh, who are trying to get into business. And I find that offensive as somebody who invests in companies. Uh, I also find this uh, berating of people that I heard about directly from the women who've gone to your courses um, or the women who were in rooms with you and, and people of color. I, I find that offensive as well. I think everybody does. And so I'm not trying to interfere with your business as such. I do think that People like you are a, a negative for the entrepreneurial ecosystem. There is a ton of great resources out there for people that cost zero dollars, um, and that will get you further than the information JT provides in my mind. There's plenty of podcasts and great books out there. And so if a friend of mine came and said, hey, would you suggest I take JT on as a coach, or would you suggest I you know, do business with Brad uh, and join his MLM, I would say, no, I don't, I don't think you should do that. I think there's other ways for you to learn entrepreneurship. Um, and anytime you charge people to learn entrepreneurship like this and these exorbitant fees, I, I my my antenna go up. Uh, my antenna I go up. And but do you, um, Jason, do I you want to ask everybody wait, to Google these individuals? Yeah, wait, wait, Brad, them. okay, and Brad, before you speak, Jason, and the please, techniques um, they'll use, I'll just end on this the techniques that these individuals will use that you're hearing firsthand here is they will talk about their struggle in life and how hard their life has been. They will talk about how anybody who's successful has negative reviews. Um, these are their techniques to try and, and then they'll also abuse people and, and make them feel less, right? They'll berate people when they're on stage or whatever. This nagging um, is a way to get people to then engage them and spend money with them. And, and I think there's a top of funnel here that occurs, like the live events would occur at hotels all around the world. And, you know, whether it's Grant Cardone or JT or any number of the folks who run these kind of, um, who run these kind of seminars or 10 X yourself, you know, when you do a search for them, you'll find a lot of people asking for refunds, refunds not occurring, thousands of dollars changing hands. And what I would encourage you to do is the best business coaches here in Silicon Valley, I'm talking about the truly elite ones. Um, yeah, they might charge $500 or $1,000 or something like that. Um, they charge it per hour. They might charge it per month. Um, and they typically want to invest in their clients' businesses, um, but they don't charge 250K. They don't charge 100K. And so I do find the whole category very strange. Uh, and I don't think it's necessary. And unfortunately, I have to go to dinner. <laughs> so I'll take well, a final question or two, but I'll we'll hopefully yeah, we can keep wanna... that brief. And listen, I wish you guys well with your businesses, but I would tell everybody in the audience, just be very careful when people have these kind of lawsuits. Manny's up here. He's got a FINRA action against him. Grant Cardone oh, has multiple actions yeah. against him. Here's JT a resolved his. Yeah. Brad's had his. Yeah. Yeah. This whole category hey, is a hey, bit Jason, stormy. No, I don't. Jason, do you know Jason, about the let, class let me, action? Hang on, hang on, Manny. Hang on, Manny. Hang on. I would have, since he's made some comments about me, um, I, like I said before, I have never had a lawsuit been involved in this type of lawsuit. I have a, if you want to Google me, I welcome everybody to Google me. I've had a 30 year career in the network marketing industry Compl where, where, where I, would you let me finish your motor mouth? Okay. Let me finish it. Go Google it. If there's something out there, they'll sit. I'm inviting this entire audience to go Google it, Jason. Okay. Go Google me. I've got a 30 year career in the network marketing industry where I've had over 500,000 people in my team. I don't know what's on Google, what five, maybe six people. Six people out of 500,000, let me tell you something. Apple Computer, Microsoft, Walmart would pay millions of dollars for that kind of approval rating. Five people out of 500 million, that's the best you got, bro? Come on. Now, in, as far as network marketing, over 100 million people do network marketing around the world full time. It's legal in every state in the union and all around the world. Just because you don't like it, because you got a bad opinion of it, does not make it right and does not make it, does not make you right and does not make it illegal. But the question I have for you, Jason, is when you do these shaming and bullying rooms you do on Friday night, let me ask you a question. Do you drink alcohol and are you drinking when you do these rooms? I might, I might have one glass of wine. If you so do me, that, it's probably one. <laughs> it's about my... So are you drunk when you, when you make some of the comments you make in these rooms? No, no. I literally have not been drunk in a decade. 
I, I drink like comments. maybe literally one or two glasses of wine every month or two, just when I'm so hanging comments, out with Chamath or something. So, so the comments that you're the king of of uh, Clubhouse and you're gonna make Brad Hager That's called and JT, joke. JT yeah. come in and kneel at, on bending knee. Yeah. It's called a joke, Brad, it's called a joke. And here you are, both of you genuflecting to the king of Clubhouse. Here right. you are. Good luck with that. Gentlemen, Go ahead, man. Here you are, the three of you. Manny. Well, Jason, you want to talk to me about something? Because um, there's a private investigator. Sure. How about your FINRA? How about your FINRA? Oh, good. I, I want to start with that. We, we talked about that. But, you know, it's interesting that you claim to support entrepreneurs. Have you even read it with your lawyer? Are you, intel are you intelligent enough to read? Am I? Can I read? Yeah, it was a simple question. Can you read? Yes, that's a question. Are you a supportive of entrepreneurs? Because I'm an entrepreneur, right? And if I don't know if you really read the complaint, you want to paint it as a broad brush. You want to attack like a racist person. Yes, that's what you're doing. Are you you're saying I'm racist? Really? That's what people are. That's what that people are saying. Oh, now you're not saying that. You didn't say the other day in your room that I'm a KKK member who wears a white hood. You didn't say that. No, I'm saying that you took off your. Did white you say hood. that or not, Manny? Did you say that I wear a KKK hood? I didn't see you wear a KKK hood. I said you took it did off. Did you say in your room that I wear a KKK hood and that I'm racist? Because you did, and somebody sent me the, the recording. So, <laughs> I didn't I hear it. Said, you, you, you did it, call it, me it, a KKK It was incorrect. Member. I said low, you man. took off your point. <laughs> I told you to take off your pointy hood. That means, what do you, you think that you means? You literally said it, I was a KKK member in, in the room. I, I have it on tape. So why would you say something like that? Admit That's it to evidence matter. support for this class action lawsuit that will happen on Friday. Mark my words. Congratulations, you've been finally sued. On Friday, you're gonna Congrats. get the complaint. You'll see it, you'll love it. And I'll tell you why, I that recording wait. that you did, that was sent to me by the private investigator about how you bullied me and you heckled me with all your all your other people around you is gonna be really detrimental. It's called the, other, the ugly side of Jason because you portray yourself as a helper of entrepreneurs. You wanna support Can entrepreneurs. <laughs> You'll be amazed by you hearing it. And I invite people to pay close attention. Cannot, cannot wait for your class action lawsuit. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I remember that laughter because you know that's going to be great. Now, my question to you is, have you read Look the complaint? Me. I, I have not received a law. No, a no, you're going to get that. I'm saying the FINRA complaint. As a supportive of entrepreneurs, you're not acting oh. very Silicon Valley like. And the Silicon Valley supports failure and supports setbacks and supports entrepreneurs. You're doing the complete opposite. You're, you're, uh, no, I, no, I you listen like... and respond. Wait, wait, Manny, Manny, let him respond. Come on, I, it's not his chance Manny, to respond because I wasn't Manny, done Manny, yet. Let him respond. You, you're going on and just let him respond. And there's like so many people against Jason right now, and he's, I'm in the position that Honestly, he's in very tough. There, no, so there's just, only David, one right now. David, it's him. not very tough. I mean, look at the people him, I'm up right? against. I so mean, my specific, what are they no, okay, but many, but, okay, but many, I'll ask you a question then. They we'll do questions. as much as they want. These, these guys are... Have, I mean, you'll really? be surprised these, these people with. coming up against me. Wait, many, many. There's no one else talking but me. Mano the Mano, okay? you will be surprised who you're talking to. So my specific question... You call me a Klansman. You call me a KKK member, Manny. I mean, if there's any lawsuit to be had here, it's you calling me a member of the KKK and that I wear a white pointed hood. I mean, really? Really? Come so on. So explain your actions then. Explain okay. your racist-like oh, actions. No, not there's each of racist. them. What racist me. action? I'm talking to you as a man. Don't stay a little boy. These are what, men. What race? You're okay, talking so to a man I, here. You're, you're, well, here's you're, guys, you're, one at a time. You're calling me a boy. So, I mean... I think David, I got to go to dinner, but yeah, of course I'm, I'm you willing want to, to talk you know to you guys why? anytime. Because you, because you don't look forward wait, 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 to your lawsuit. Right, right, all right, I tell you what. Wait, wait, man, man, I mean, if you're going to call me a little boy, and, wait, wait, like, man. No, I said I'm a man. Clansman and a racist. This is really not productive, honestly. I mean, JT started out. At least JT started out and answered the question. Answer the question. I mean, JT's a fan. I think you're a fan too, Manny. Okay, answer the question. So you don't fan, answer Manny? questions. You're rambling on just like I'll, everyone I'll else. I'll answer any question you like. Good. I, I, Be yes, very I have specific. Read portions of your. Okay. I have, it's a volume. I'm going to ask you a question. Finra complaint for a against second. you. I've read parts of it. Okay. Listen. Okay, yeah. There's 1,600 people in the room. Let them be the judge. Okay. Let them be the judge. I'm going to ask. Right, you, but I really do have to I'll, go to jail. Of course so. you have to go because <laughs> bullies don't like being attacked. You want no, no, to I'll ask come, questions? I will be back. I'll be back. Just answer the question. Which question? No. Just answer the question. Right. It's pretty simple. I'm going to tell you right now. Is it true that you portray yourself by supporting entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley and everywhere else? Is that true or false? Wait, Manny, that's okay. That's a question. Let him answer. 
Jason, do you support entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley and other places? Of course I okay. do. Like, Manny, that's me. your question? Perfect. That's, if that's okay. the case, and if I was an entrepreneur changing the way people get funded, women and of people of color, and the FINRA issue occurred, why would you attack an entrepreneur then without understanding the facts as an educated man as you are? Okay, let him exactly. answer that question. You saw that? You saw that? Wait, wait, Manny, Manny. Let, you saw that. Wait. There he is. No, no, he, that's, let me answer the question. Um, all right. So, Jason. Would you like you, me to restate the question, question all, yes or no? All, in terms of attacking you, all I did was point out your FINRA, that you had you were shut down by FINRA for running uh, your equity crowdfunding uh, site. What was it called? Dream something? Um, and that you were sanctioned and people should know about that if they're going to do business with you. Because that's a pretty, like you're banned or from doing these crowdfunding things now. No, I'm not. That's why I guess you're not reading correctly. That's what I'm saying. Did, you're not reading. You're picking FINRA, stuff up. Okay, so if anybody wants to type in Manny's name and Finra, you'll see the actions taken against them. Well, I mean, I, you, you tell you tell me. Uh, just respond how to this, this response. Is. Well, it's tell you what. My question to you is this: you or not? There is a. It's not a formal judgment. And as you may know, I will send you, there's a thing called the other side of the story. Just respond to what I'm saying. If, if I'm an entrepreneur, if it was a mistake, if, if as a pioneer that has the balls to do something that you don't do, which is fund other people outside of the tall white males, if I have the balls to do it and put my own uh, money, listen incorrect. carefully. I mean, listen if you carefully. Look at the, yeah, just one, just one at a time. Many, many. Wait, wait, just, just one second. Well, Manny, of the what last 50 investments I made, at least 30% were female and at least 25% were people of color. So that's just factually incorrect. Uh, and, uh, and I would say my How about investing. You respond when I'm my done, investing, okay? hold on. Uh, my investing. No, is you, I, we heard enough on about you. A, if you I'm going to ask you a question and you I'm can at respond. least five times. Our, our portfolio is five times. Can we do that? Can we do that? More, to make it on. simple, not like two little kids. Right, listen, here? It, it, there's simple. no reason to talk no, to you, Manny, if you're just going to interrupt me every time I answer your question. Yeah, Manny, Manny. Because I didn't have great talking to you all. Wait, hold I mean, on. I, I let me just, like Manny, wait. We just let Jason respond. Brad, not so much. Manny, I think you're just talking over me. I, I mean, come on. I mean, how am I supposed wait, to? Hey, Manny, let him respond. It? Hey, Manny, just let him respond. And then you could bring up your next point. Thank you, David. Because you, Okay, go, Manny, let him respond. Jason, respond. Very simply, if you're saying I do not support people of color or women, you can just look at my portfolio. I would say five times more women and people of color in my portfolio than the industry average. In fact, we have championed this over the last couple of years, Founder University, which is founder.university, and it's a virtual two-day course. If you happen to not understand that a two-day seminar is not Harvard University, like JT can't seem to understand, <laughs> it's just a domain name. Founder University is not a real-world university. It is a moniker uh, for a two-day seminar we do for free. And of those six we do every year, uh, which 250 people come to, Four of them are dedicated to people of color, uh, underrepresented founders and women. And after we started that program, uh, we were able to triple the number of women and people of color in our portfolios. And that's why we created it. So it's a great question, Manny. Uh, we have perhaps one of the diversest, port diver we have perhaps one of the diverse, um, most diversified portfolio of any early stage fund. Simple question, thank you for that. A simple question. Am I an entrepreneur? Yes or no? We, we Am I a Hispanic one, entrepreneur? A capital oh, hold on. Hold on. I, don't, I don't really know you, Manny. Okay. You do know because yeah, capital, I, was, I know that you have a website that FINRA shut down, right? No, it's still up. Dreamfunded.com. You're confused. How about you just respond when I'm asking a question? All right. I'm a Hispanic entrepreneur. In fact, I probably climbed to the highest levels and did the confidence of doing that FINRA portal and had it sold watch the timeline google congratulations I, and the finra thing occurred now i'm an entrepreneur from silicon valley all right i did it to support my community the people that look like me and women now pay close attention to what i'm going to say next if an entrepreneur has a setback in silicon valley are you going to ridicule them yes or no uh no okay then why are you doing it to me then um the way you're speaking to me is so disrespectful and no. you're kind of a caricature of an entrepreneur, the way you're behaving. I'll be totally honest. Jason. That, is that opinion or is that fact? I'm that, saying. That's my opinion. That's just my okay. opinion. We haven't even spoken. I, I think you are a little 
wacky. I'll be totally honest. Yeah, I would say that. You, you good, seem very good, weird. The way you're good, calling me good, a KKK good, member good, or a boy good. or mano a mano and yeah. calling people bitches. Like this mm -hmm. is the kind of stuff that's not very Silicon Valley. Why do you? Um, yeah. Why do you think that occurred? Do you remember the book? I'm gonna release the retape of that two in the morning so everyone can hear the ugly side of Jason. Your sponsors oh are gonna love it. We're just but joking. What, get, yes, please go no after my sponsors. <laughs> well, we will see. I don't, I don't need any of the sponsors. Pay close attention <laughs> to what I'm it's saying. Really if I'm an entrepreneur and I have I'm to Hispanic, go to but I and I'm a community back. leader, I and think you're the attacking me, you're attacking the community. Okay, Manny, beside Manny, okay, just if you, before Jason has to bounce. If you, um, I have to go. But first yeah, of all, let me just, oh, let me just have have this. Question. You of can course you have to go. No, I spent call me out two in the fucking morning. Of course you have to go. But these individuals, if you Google them, their, I think their track records are interesting. Oh, you mean to you tell me that them. if someone anyway, Manny, 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 say, Manny, about you, Manny, 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 Manny. But just be careful if anybody asks you for hundreds of thousands of dollars to coach or these okay. MLM things, or you know if they have FINRA, this is against them. Okay. Jason, I'm just Jason, letting people know these are things. Brad, just just second, look Brad, at his Brad, Manny, I would look at just one second. Just one second. Just guys, one second. I'm uh, Brad and Manny and, and JT. Just wait one second because I just I, before Jason bounces. Jason, I'm going to bounce, David. But you uh, can ask the, me a final okay, question but, or two. If you okay, want. let me just ask you because I want to sum up a question that they're asked. They they kind of all asked. Um, they they all brought up that like why are with everything with just the amount of people, um that are on clubhouse or just the amount of people that are are just on this earth why them and why kind of like jt brought that up and manny brought that up and, and oh, yeah, Brad's, I guess, is trying I, to ask that why yeah, them I, great well he's yeah, jealous I, of my always... success clearly because well, he's going to be on, at man. the same table just, manny, let, just let him respond just let just let just let let's just see is there i mean hey, do you have any inter, inter, interaction with them before clubhouse or just all on clubhouse or just but is there just have you attended a room where you just were like, okay, that, that, the that answer was a question is he wants to there. build more followers and okay. he attacks Manny, 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 no, Manny come on. But David, I'm willing Manny, to Manny, talk just... to you another time. And Brad, JT, right. and Manny, I wish you success. Hey, and Jason, I'm willing Jason, to talk Jason, to you. I... JT was the most respectful. JT, I we will, and you're okay, how about, how about this, Jason? Could so you, I'm willing to talk to you, Jason. Jason, could you, wait, could you, could you, disrespectful? Jason, I'm not going to talk to you again. Brad, I'm not so sure. Jason, could we finish up the conversation? You and JT, Jason. Wait, wait, hold on one second. J um, Jason, can we have three minutes, which is you and JT? Can we just do that instead of I move down Manny and Brad and we'll move them back up once? No, I, I don't think so. I, I here's the thing. He said he's willing to talk off air. And I, 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 you know, to do this in front of okay. 2,000 people. So I would prefer to also, talk off JT's, air. Also, JT's, I think JT, you're a Scientologist, yeah? I'm not a Scientologist. I don't I, know why I'm people saying question. that. No, I, I just I know, like, I'm saw on the web. Yeah, hey, I heard well, something about you, Jason, regarding the child. I don't know if it's true. Our PR no, I got a lot of friends who are, who are Scientologists, so I see, hear a little Scientology. But I got to go. I got my girls here. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, before, before Dave, before isn't we bring up, hold on. Before, then I asked a Dave, question yeah. and the guy cuts out. I so never asked. Oh, so one second, Manny. One second, Manny. Wait, Manny, Manny, Manny one, one second. second. Just Dave, give one second. Can we, uh, yeah. all three of us, for the purpose of the audience, just kind of give our assessment of what we think uh, – what we think just happened here and based on the text. Mm, I think it's only, I think it's fair if we ask other people what their assessment is, then then you guys give your assessment. But be, what what I think was a little bit tough to watch was that it was three it was it seemed like there was three of you against Jason. And there wasn't and Manny, to your point, I get I don't really understand some of the stuff that you were Let saying. Let me send you the um, nine people against me two in the morning. I'll send you the clip right now. You uh, play the clip. Right now, please do. Hear, I'm just saying, just for this particular, I'm I think right this week, I'll, I'll send it to you right now. Him and ten people making my wife cry, and then when she left the stage, him and all of them, which we have all their names. Okay, cool. We'll, so we'll if we bring up uh, them, no, no, Brad, Brad, and maybe you guys post that on your social. Listen, maybe we could. Yeah, let, me, let me just say, it's not three against one; it's one against many. He's the one who started this, and he brought it on on every one of us and more people. That's not even that's still in the audience, but anyway. Okay. So, I'm gonna bring in some people from the audience. Just I, I don't, on. here, David. I, I don't think I. I don't think this is not between me and the audience. I confronted him. He's willing to talk off air. I'm willing to do that to clarify his. He doesn't like the industry, so we're all bad. So I'm just willing to have a conversation with him. Maybe I'll change his mind. Maybe it's not. But I will have the conversation in a civil mind. I'm not here to answer any questions to everybody. My my results. What I do every day. How I've helped people speak for themselves as yeah. well. So I, I think for, for me, 
I, I just want to go back to helping people and thank you for giving me this platform. Thank you for everybody in the audience uh, as well. And I think this could have been resolved by a conversation prior to everything. And I will have the conversation in a civil matter. And that's all I could say about that. Well, David, thank you, JT. I wish I had more professionalism like you. Um, David, if you Goodbye. could look check your Instagram account, you'll have a link mm. there. And then that yeah, link cool. is a recorded thing that was sent by a private investigator of the 2 a.m. call. You'll hear me against at least six to eight people, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. Maybe it was like six. And Jason, two in the morning, and you can hear their attacks. You can hear the ridicules. You can hear the bullying. It's all recorded. So I would like you to look at it, and I'll pay you $1,000 to play it right now in front of the, the audience. And I'll donate to your nonprofit if you don't want the money. I'll cash app the app to you instantly when it's done. And that's my word. I want the, I want the money. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I don't want you the money. Money. No, no, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't, I don't want to donate it, and I don't, I don't want um, to, to do something like that. Of course but you wouldn't. You know you, why? Why? I'm asking you why. Because you, no, no, if you no. want the truth, because you say here there was three or four guys against Jason, but in reality it was just him and I talking. But you'll see six people ganging up on me two in the morning, attacking my credibility. You should listen to it. Decide for yourself. Because you'll start to see that should not be done to any human being. And, and if I'm an entrepreneur and an angel, there's a reason why he's doing it. And if you listen to the, the recording, you'll hey. see there may have racist bias behind it. You decide for yourself. Let the people hear it. If they hear it, they'll be the judge, not me. The, the facts um, are the facts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so, so maybe sit on your social. I don't want to be the arbiter. Of course. I just, I just host the rooms. So Fair to hear. Maybe, Fair to say. How about we host uh, another room where you're the moderator and you're miking the person so we can ask a question, like a political debate, and then respond to it in an organized I mean, that's fashion. What I was, that's what I was trying to do. Um, the Good issue job. is that there was, there was so much emotion about um, on both sides that sure. it was, everyone was over talking each other sure. and it, the conversation became, especially so that when I was saying three versus one, there was three people that were trying to get answers from one person. I don't, sure. I, don't I don't mean it in any other way. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Okay. Hey David, I'm going to bounce out. Uh, thank you, uh, Michael for uh, the unblocking there of him so he could speak. And David, thanks for putting this on. And I hate it had to come to a public forum. That's not my style, but I mean, it is what it is. It was started I've been off. On, I've been off Clubhouse right? for a minute, so I don't really, I didn't know all this. I, um, yeah, so. I'm ho hopefully this, hopefully that you all could come to some type of agreement, maybe even if the agreement is they don't like each other. Yeah, I agree. All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. Hey, for All right. Hey, thank guys. you, Brad. Bye. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. I'm still here if you want to. You know, again, uh, thank you so much for your patience and for those that are listening. Manny, Manny. Hey, hello. What's up? So I'm just, I just, I just came because I'm being asked by people for uh -huh. you to, uh, to release the recording because you want to see it. You? Just it. No, not just to me. Release it to your, to your social media if you want or to me by DM. But I want to point out that I'm 26 and I find all you dudes and they left so fucking immature. And to have 2,000 people listen to this garbage that you guys are spewing on an application. Man, for, 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 that, for, no, no, you didn't let me up. You didn't let me up at the right time because it's 3v1. And I'm not on, I don't care about the debate that you were having. I just want to make a point. This is the community we are working so hard to build. People like myself, Michael, I see Rami. I see a lot of people in the audience that are messaging me. And I'm going to be their voice. Oh, if this you're there, boys. Working, if you're no, no, you don't hear them. You don't hear them, and you're not letting them be heard right now by cutting me. Because I'm pretty sure, Manny, you had your time to speak and to make a fool out of yourself as well. So, everybody here, we spend hours on this app on a day-to-day -day basis to make this a better place. We're putting the word "social" back in social media, and we're making difference. We're making difference. We're helping yeah. people. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. With someone, no. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm at the same with mission. Me and act the way you're acting, Manny. So I'm not even attacking you directly, okay? Well, listen so, to what, go how release, you're coming across initially, go release, okay? Go release, we don't know each go other. Release, go release, go release your video if you want. I'm happy for you. That's first thing. Second thing, this room should have been ended the second Jason left just because hearing you three just give your take on it is just whack, but whatever. That's my personal opinion. Not everybody else's. Yeah, and would lastly, you like to hear the recording? Last, yes or lastly, no? Yes, Did yes. Would you like no, to hear here. the Send dark night on Clubhouse? Check your but, Instagram. But hold on. And I want to say one last thing that nobody mentioned here. Nor you, 
nor Brad, nor JT, nor even Jason, very sadly. I'm in a group with 20, 30, 40 women who have been bullied in this application. I've been getting on FaceTimes with these women for the last week. What the fuck are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? To I have a class action, action no, lawsuit against... I don't care uh, about your class listen. action, Jason. Oh, go help the right, women. Fine. Go help the women that were bullied. Go help the, go help women. the women that were crying on this application. How about you help I'm them by crying. seeing what I Jason and his group is doing? There's people like Paolo, No, you're not. You're talking too much. He raised $50,000 to help these women out. There's so much stuff happening. What are you doing? You have money. You're acting like you have. Put your money Would where you your like mouth is. Don't offer, don't offer David to give him $1,000 to play the video. Go give it to these women. And on that note, I'm Did out. you know what happened on Sunday? You know what happened on Sunday? I invested.